a very special thank you to everybody who tunes in to the Justin Podcast. And I also want to give a special thanks to all my sponsors. Geico presents sharing versus oversharing. Today, Bridget Griffin shared a video of her daily yoga routine, two self-help articles, and her new blog called Build Your Inner Bridge with Bridge. Girl, your sharing has turned into oversharing. No worries, Bridge. Geico has some info worth sharing with your seven blog followers, like how you could save money on your car insurance, update your policy, and report a claim just by visiting geico.com. How's that for building your inner bridge? Bridge, Geico. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. He's a pioneer and the voice for XTV East Coast. He's the XTV Hall of Famer. And now, Justin Turkey Legs brings his famous voice to the podcast world. This is Justin's Podcast. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome again to another edition of Justin's Podcast. Where we're going to deliver to you some audio whoop Um... You know, it's uh, Friday night here, and I'm just sitting here enjoying myself. You know, I thought it would be a good time to do a a podcast. Uh, And might as well just break into the things that I've been thinking about as of late. And the first thing I want to say is I'm recording on this iPhone 4. Some unfortunate situation. uh, Did I say that right? Unfortunate situation. uh, Took place with Millennium not too long ago. And he said it on the podcast, hey, Mill, I tried to tell you, recording on them damn Samsungs ain't no damn guarantee. It really ain't no guarantee with no device, but at least with this here uh, iPhone, you know, it it don't ever let you down. I'm getting a text here. I should do that thing like Steve Austin do. And, uh... You know, if if it's a uh, if I get a text message or if you hear my phone go off during during a podcast, I owe you a I owe you a drink next time I see you. You know, if I see you out and about, I gotta buy you a drink. Cause that's been happening a lot lately. I I was listening back to one of mine. Uh, it was during a damn ad. How the fuck your your phone gonna go off during a damn ad? Just this loud ass ding shit scared the fuck out of me. I ain't know what the fuck. I thought the police was behind me because, you know, I'm at work and I got this, uh, you know, I got the little Garmin, you know, and it's telling me, you know, what direction to go and, you know, if certain noises go off. Like if you're in a school zone, a noise will go off. And if you're in, you know, certain areas, you know, or certain, you know, indications let you know certain things. And I thought that that's what that was, but I realized it was that fucking loud ass ding from my fucking old phone. My iPhone, which I miss so dearly. The Samsung phone. I, I tell everybody, it pisses me off. It gets under my skin. Um, I don't know if I should be talking about uh, the new news. All all I can say is that um, I don't know if you heard Mills' podcast, but at the end, uh. He did drop uh, a bombshell, and I'll just say that um, there's a new podcast coming to the XTV East Coast Network, and it was actually something that was requested, and, you know, it was something that, you know, uh, we as the East Coast thought about, and, you know, it's time. It's time, and it makes sense, and I'm happy for that person, you know, uh, you know, uh, go for it. I checked out uh, Total Nonstop Deletion. And I, I got to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I, 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 I probably, <laughs> I probably uh, have, has, have never laughed so hard from beginning to end at a, at a damn pay-per-view from wrestling. This shit was funny as hell. It was unpredictable. And you know that's 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 what's great about wrestling when you can't predict what's going to happen. And I find myself asking myself, you know, uh, during the duration of this, does this make you want to see what's going to happen next on TNA? And my answer was yes. I wonder what happened next. But you know, <clears throat> if you don't, 
if you haven't already, uh, you know, got a chance, go and check out Total Nonstop Deletion. I promise it's uh <laughs> it's off the chain. Um, I probably didn't tell y'all who my guest was, but it's um. Hold on, let me look here. Yeah. I know I'm I'm all kind of hey I just turned on the recorder let me see who is my guest today oh yeah Julia McKenzie Julia uh, y'all might remember her from um uh, when Tavari was commissioner back in the day and he had his little uh, time period and you know he couldn't handle all the busy work that you know JJ Strong had to do when you know during his term so he felt like he wanted to be more hands on with the people you know the people was coming up to him and he left all of that other stuff to Julia so you know she's going to be here today uh she's my guest we're going to be going over uh, some interesting things we're going to be talking about uh this year's ratings and rankings um you know, from the XTV Observer's uh, perspective, you know, she works uh, over there with Terry Williams and uh, several others at the XTV Observer. And, you know, they're always checking out what's going on. You know, uh, these cameras ain't here for nothing. You know, uh, uh, everything is, is documented, you know, uh, you know, how over people get in. You know, uh, we're going to be discussing that. Uh, apparently, uh, you know... Um, you know, some people. I, I I just I just leave it at that. You know, I just leave it to that. But uh, she is my guest, and um, I just want to say that I lost uh a few sponsors, but I gained some. And you know that's why y'all don't be hearing me do a whole lot of these uh, ads no more. You know, but you know y'all got this. I got this new way that I do the ads. You know, uh, I got my new sponsors. And, you know, they telling me, uh, you know, I might have to stop doing that. But guess what? I'm not. Yeah, because, you know, when you play my uh, when you play my my podcast on YouTube, then, you know, the little pop-up come up, you know, at the bottom, you know. And if you go to it, it say, you know, it's got uh, certain things that's all. Uh, huh? That, that had nothing to do with... That was Millennium stuff because he had... Um, he had... Uh, Hi, everybody. I'm Martha. Everybody know who you is. Hush up. But he had songs on his, and those songs weren't supposed to be on there. And because they're copywritten. It had nothing to do with you and your ads. You know, I'm even, I'm even talking to, who told you that? You know, a couple of, the, a couple of the boys, they were, you know, out, out back. I think you just made that up. Martha, did you come over here to uh bust my balls? Can I can I do a po- podcast without getting busted? <laughs> I just wanted to correct that. Yeah, well, anyways, I'm gonna be talking to Julia, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we about to get her on the phone. She's waiting for you on the phone right now. Well, you, well, that's what I came in here to tell you. Uh, well, you ain't say that. You've been sitting up here all this time and you ain't say that. Okay, I'm back. Oh, yeah. Now go ahead. Julia is up next, ladies and gentlemen. She on the phone. I got to pay some bills. You know, no two people sleep exactly alike. No two people do anything alike. So Helix Mattress understands that. And right now, if you go on to their website, you can get yourself a 90-day free trial. That's right, because sometimes, you know, you go to the store, and you'll buy yourself a mattress, and then you'll lay on it, and you're like, hey, that's a good mattress. Then you get home, and, you know, it's time for the real deal, you know, whether you're getting some hippity-dippity from your girl, or whether you're just trying to get you some nice, comfortable sleep because you got to go to work or go to school tomorrow. Come to find out, you don't like it at all. Well, with Hideous.com, before you purchase anything, you get you a free 90 days. I think it might even be 100 days. <clears throat> one, of, one of the two. But either way, it's a hell of a bargain. And all you got to do is go to HelixMattress.com. That's HelixMattress.com. Yeah. Uh, you got anything to add to that, RJ? Uh, certain restrictions may apply. See website for the tasks. 
Yo, it's Jazz Mars Podcast again, nigga. Word, Mac Anthony in the building. We ready. Tonight's special guest, Owana. How are you? It's got to be out. It's got to be out. That's why. That's why. Hold on, hold on. Sorry to interrupt. Here, Mac, take this sneaker. Where are you? Because you always get sleepy when you're hungry. Better? Better. Mick Anthony in the building, yo. I'm going to be up on this podcast. I ain't going to sleep. He finally admitted it. Jazz Mars Podcast. You're not yourself when you're hungry. Why wait? Have a Snickers. Red Red, we're about to go. Yo, I feel bad. What are you talking about, Red? Yo, I feel bad. What do you mean? I feel like jumping off the rooftop. Red, eat the Snickers. Why, yo? Because you start to talk crazy when you're hungry. Better? Better. You're not yourself when you're hungry. I bet you that you're impressed by that Snicker bar, huh? Very impressed. Very impressed. Hungry? Grab a Always good time talking to Julia McKenzie. I'm sorry, I always forget your last name, Julia. That's perfectly fine. You know, uh, uh, you know, Martha come in here. She all rushing me and stuff, and y- and y'all weren't even ready. Well, I was hoping that you wouldn't say that on the air. Well, you know, we we all we just we just let it fly here. But you know, uh, it, it's it's good, uh, you know, hearing from you, uh, Julia. You know, uh, I told everybody at the top of the show, you know, who who you is. Oh, that's adorable. You thought that everybody would forget me? No, well, no, it's not that. You know, it's just. Uh, Am I making you bashful? No, you know. I heard that you have a problem talking to women on your show. Is that is that true? No, I, I just. You're uh, lying to me, Justin. I know that you're lying. I'm very good friends with your wife. I rarely hear from you, but I'm very good friends with your wife. Oh, man. You know, hey, you know, I'm just trying to have a good time. I'm messing with you. So, I mean, uh, you know, Julia, you over there uh, at the at the XTV Observer, you know, y'all see everything. You know, you're, you're a major part of XTV uh, behind the scenes. And, you know, uh, you, you've come uh, with you guys' perspective uh, uh, this year's uh, top ratings and rankings uh, from the perspective of the uh, is Observer. That's exactly right, Ernie. And, you know, it's just like, first and foremost, I just want to say that this has nothing to do with the XTV Awards or, you know, anything like like that this is more so like um, a perspective from you know the observer you know this is what we think this is how we visualize you know exactly what's going on um, you know on the East Coast and West Coast perspective you know we spent countless hours on this you know we were trying to be fair and you know that's exactly why you know uh, you know we have to push it all the way up to crunch time, you know, before we can actually, um, you know, be completed with this. You know, that's why I had to put you on hold for eight minutes because, you know, we're making last minute decisions. It's like, no, it's him. No, it's not him. No, it's him. No, it's not him. We take this very seriously. Well, you know, uh, you know, uh, I think it'll be uh, interesting, you know, uh, to hear uh, the perspective and, uh, and, and how you guys uh break everything down <laughs> you know uh now first uh you know you know talk about you know uh who and and, and you know how this this is even broke down well you know we sit around a round table you know uh the board of directors that has always been a part of xtv they sit around we in, in board meetings we would like i said countless i was there. were you just listening to me i just now explained this The board of directors sit around the tables, and, you know, uh, Miss Martha's there. You were there. I I know I was there. I'm just trying to say, you know, people might not really realize, you know, absolutely what's going on. don't be a knucklehead. You have to use your brain for once. Your wife told me that this might happen. Well, nevertheless, let's get right into it. Okay, I'm just messing with you. You know, so so I mean, you know, I got I got the list here uh, right in front of me, and you know, you you got it, and you know, it's it, it's it's a, it's 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 quite the list, um, and you know, it, it's interesting, you know, now now what is this, you know, what is this list based on? 
just based on who who was here and you know this year and 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 who was more active you know who are the top you know main guys on the roster because let's face it you don't have the wrestling ring you guys can't get out there and compete with one another so what do you do so you know you have to be entertaining you have to keep you know some type of um notoriety in your name and you know you have to roll with the punches and so you know several people got um very high rankings and you know some people scored pretty low um you know we have um Certain people, uh, well, the way the way we have it is, um, we have a number for how how over the person is, and then there's a number for actually how well they can fight. Because as you know, there's always fights breaking out in XTV. We have countless hours of fights sitting um, in the back room, just you know, hours and hours of footage, and. Um, of people fighting and just, you know, certain interactions that I'm sure people are totally going to forget. Yeah. I mean, you know, who who has time to sit up there and bicker over old old fights? You know, so, so uh, hold on. Sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in and hearing you, um, you know, break down the list, uh, you know, they chose you uh, to come in, come out here and represent. You know, Terry couldn't be here. He had other things to uh, to do, so he couldn't be out here. He wanted to come, so they sent me on his behalf. Yeah, and, you know, it was great to have you. You know, uh, this is your first time. Terry's been on this show a couple times. Uh, you know, I'm, I look forward to uh, having him. Once again, or you know, plenty, plenty more times as, as well as you do. Uh, you Junior. don't have to suck up to me. All right, let's see. First, first things first. Now, here's what here's what it is because everybody knows that XTV is all out of order. Everybody knows that XTV does not have any kind of you know order per se. But Miss Martha has tried her best, um, at, you know, to to you know bring this thing order, and I laugh because. You know, it's just the clutter and the mess um, from start to finish. There's no um, sequential order of, of, of history recorded. There's tapes here and there. It's just a big mess. So, you know, we try to put things in alphabetical order, and everybody is arguing at the table like, well, who's the first letter? Oh, it's B. It's Big Trunks. No, it's not Big Trunks. It's Ada. Oh, yeah, it is Ada. And we didn't figure that out till way later because... Everybody's just discombobulated over there. But we have everybody. If we left anybody out, we're very sorry. But we just chose the people who we felt were at the top of their game this year and um, and had a substantial amount of um, credibility, you know, the notoriety, if you will. Because um, everyone knows that, you know, there was podcasts galore this year and there was several ways to entertain and so certain people were entertaining in their own ways so starting off i know it should be ada i know i should start off with her but she comes actually later down the line um so this is not an alphabetical order i'm just trying to tell the story of how we tried yeah i get it okay Big Trunks D Matic, unlockable, and um and and he has a 75 offense. Let's face it, Justin, he kicks your ass every single week and every sing and every other day. You know we've got footage of him just destroying you, and you trying. <laughs> I'm sorry, and you trying to attack him, you know, it's 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 just amazing, you know, uh, if, if we were able to put in order, you know, the amount of fights that happen, you know, I think that it would be between you two the most, surprisingly, not with Bobby and Keller this year. Well, you know, they, they feel kind of over, and you know what I mean? Hey, you know, the most over guys, okay, is going to be the ones that's going to be fighting. There's a lot of machismo going around. And at the end of the day, you know, we, we, we didn't talk about that. We didn't discuss that. You know, he's still my friend. You know, hey, after all these You're years. You're only saying that because he's probably not there with you, are you? Are you? Is he? <laughs> no, he is not. I, I told you. I knew it. All right. Now, up next, you know, you can't think about just so remember, he's got a 75 offense. Now, you don't have to sit up there and try to remember these numbers, but these are just, you know, numbers that, you know, we just 
we feel like are the numbers, and you can always, you know, uh, refer to them. Yeah, I got them, y'all, so, you know. I just showed it to Anyways, you. Anyways, you know, so Justin, you know, we also chose you as unlockable. You know, you, you, you guys both, you and Big Trunks, which I didn't go into, but I think that it makes sense to put you both into the equation. When I explain the fact that you guys are, you know, both legends, you both have been around for many, many years. So, you know, you guys have gotten to that level where you guys are considered unlockable. And what that means is that you're not specifically playable you know you can't just you know uh, have access to you guys you guys are what is called and deemed special so how does that feel oh feel, feel, feels feels wonderful you don't sound like you you don't sound like you take the xtv observer seriously uh, you, no julia julia See, now I sound like LT. You sound exactly like him. Every other every other eight minutes or so. Julia, Julia, he's just calling me from all over the place. That poor kid. You know, they were hounding him over all kinds of things. Can I have this match? Can you do that? Why is this not happening? How does that happen and he's not doing this? All kinds of banana. And who does he choose? Me. Dump it on me. Yeah, I see. <laughs> Something. You have no idea. Well, I used to be commissioner back in the days. Please, are you talking about back in 1997 when you were commissioner or back whenever when when it was still a cartoon? Baloney. Yeah, well. <clears throat> so, so, so you guys are unlockable characters. Now, are you ready for this? Listen to this. Are you ready for this? Brace yourselves. Justin's offense is a 63. Papa. Bye bye what? What the hell that that weak ass damn number? Justin, you know that you're just a you're just a you, you know uh, an announcer. You're not you're not physical. You're not active. All these people I beat, I expected that, that you know. Uh, uh, unlockable as well. Actually, downloadable character, which doesn't really have that many downloads. I think there's like three, but you can get the Justin and the Super Shredder suit. Huh? I'm, I, don't, I don't really see how that's uh, <clears throat> how that's you know good uh, along with my number. And you know to be honest, I don't think that Trunks would be very happy about his number either, being a seventy five. I think that for you guys' age and you know the legendary status that you have, you know you guys, are, you know should should be honored to to have that number because let's face it, in real life you're really not all of that. Well, if you really thought that, Julia, then 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 how how we got these numbers? Remember, it doesn't all go through me. We we all have to come to some type of an agreement. So you know, I'll I'll have what I think. You know, Terry has what he thinks. Brian, Sarah, you know, Catherine. We all sit together, and you know, this goes on for days. And we look at this person, and we say, well, what about this person? And how does this person compare to that person? You'll understand if you just let me talk and. And, you know, let's get get together with this thing. I was letting you talk. You weren't letting Listen. me talk. Okay, so Big Trunks, unlockable, 75. Justin, unlockable, 63. Bob Classic, not unlockable. He's a 99. He's over. He's the most over. One of the most over. Okay, his offense, a 99. Killer, following him. 99 offense 99 hello no questions asked right there 90 percent unlockable his offense a 99 yozy wait 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 i'm wait. trying to get through this and then you can ask your questions later i'm just going to go through them all okay so listen 90 percent unlockable he's a 99 Yosey, unlockable. She's a 98. I'm, 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 I'm wondering about, you know, a couple numbers. Cool it. Um, Howard, 96. That's what he is. He's over. Uh, his offense, considered a 95. Walter, 88. His offense, considered a 94. So you can see how you might not, you know, have... You might have a, a lower number than, than your actual offense will, will actually portray, all right? Joel's 92. His offense, 94. Payne, unlockable. His offense, a 99. Uh, Jasmine, an 89. Offense, a 90. He's a 90. M Mac Anthony, uh, 
Not unlockable. Why, why would he be unlockable? A new character. He's a 70. That's where whoa, the new whoa, whoa, characters whoa, whoa. start that, off. Yeah, but I mean, how 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 is Mac Anthony a 70 and I'm a 63? Again, Ernie, you're not listening to me. You do not wrestle. He don't need to hear on their personality. Easy. Younger. This is bullshit. Hold on. Where are we at as far as time? We got to take a break, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to let Julia uh, continue her list. We're going to talk more about the list. And uh, we even got, you know, the top five of uh, of the East Coast and West Coast on the other side of this break. Stay with us. This is some bullshit, uh, Julia. You know this is some bullshit. Uh, Justin, you have to understand. The holiday season's coming up, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what would be a perfect gift? A set of bed sheets. And why not go on bowlandbranch.com? Ladies and gentlemen, these bed sheets are the most comfortable, softest bed sheets that I've ever laid on. That's right. And they made out of 100% cotton. That means that you're getting the most out of your buck. These have been rumored to even have had uh, you know, the President of the United States sleep on these. That's right. The people there at the White House order from Bowl and Branch. And now this season, if you order from BowlandBranch.com, you can get 50% off by check this out, typing in the uh, promo code PODCAST1. That's right. This promo code going to work. That's podcast O N E, and you can get fifty dollars off your first set, your first set of sheets that you get from bowlandbranch.com. Uh, that's bowlandbranch.com. See subject and site for details. Uh, uh. Justin's podcast. Back with Mo here, ladies and gentlemen. Ernest Justin Turkey Leg sitting here with Julia McKenzie, and we going over uh, the ratings and rankings here. Uh, so you know, uh, just just to reiterate, uh, the the first number that she reads, or you know, first phrase, which may be unlockable. You may be an unlockable character, you know. Uh, but you know that represents how over you are. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I got it. I got it. And the second number represents your offense. We didn't go into defense and stamina and all of that because that doesn't really apply here. Because you guys, again, don't have the game. You can't really differentiate between one amongst one, one another. You can, I mean, amongst you can, but you know, hear the observer. We didn't. Does that make sense? Yeah, I mean, I guess. Okay, so before you cut me off, I was going through my raid here. Now, I, la- I left off at Mac Anthony. You've got a beef with him. I okay, didn't have a beef. Next. Listen, Millennium, 88, offense, a 90, old Joe, unlockable. And look at this. He's a hundred. How is he a hundred? It, 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 it seemingly like that there can't nobody be a hundred. Somehow, this unlockable character is a one. How in the fuck is he a hundred with his old ass? Sorry, old Joe, I love you. And I'm a 63? He old! If he hits you over the head with that stick, are you gonna not feel like that was a hundred? I didn't think so. So. You made me mess up something. Sorry. That's some bullshit. I want my number changed. I want to talk to Terry. Who the hell voted me for that low, low ass number? Oh, I did. Certain people feel like he can't fight. Old Joe has a reputation for beating up Donkey Kong, beating up Dee Dee, beating up several others. And, you know, that's his reputation. His reputation exceeds him. So does his popularity. It all counts. It all counts. Let me tell your ass something, Julia. Take that damn number back. I will hang up on you. I'm sorry. I will not I'm tolerate sorry, that type of tone with you, mister. You sound like Tavari. <clears throat> Continue. Old Joe is unlockable. He's a 100. Get over it. Don't judge duty me. Bill Hunter, 90. Offense, a 93. We're going to talk about this. We will. Whenever you let me get through it. Yorkie, a 93. Offense, a 93. Good for you, Yorkie. Lil Killer, an 84. 
offense, an 80. RJ, an 84. Offense, 86. Lil LT, an 80. Offense, 69. 80's guy, 99. Offense, 94. Electrofa, unlockable. Offense, 81. Sally Troffa, unlockable. She's a 77. Foxy Hot, an 89. Her offense, a 91. J.J. Strong, an 87. Offense, 78. Ada Vickers, finally. She's a 98. Her offense, 97. The Monster, finally. He's a 95. Offense, 95. And then there's several people, like I mentioned earlier, they did. They were unranked. Kareem Strong, Naomi, Dominique, Sienna, Chris Major, several others. You are all unranked. You did not participate. Jordan Strong, she is unranked. You did not participate this year. Jackie Z, unranked. Kareem Strong, unranked. There are several people who are signed. The Twins are unranked. They are signed to the roster, but they are unranked because they did not perform and or did not show up this year. Therefore, they are all unranked. You have all been disqualified. Now, Justin, you may proceed with your questions. All right. <laughs> Let's figure this shit out, okay? On Justin's podcast. Now... Okay, this 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 is this is this is a healthy list. It's not over because there's even more, but I'm gonna let you th- say whatever is on your mind. I'm looking I'm looking up and down this this list, you know, because I, you know, I got it here in front of me and I I just wanted to read it with you. But I'm looking at certain things like, you know, uh, I mean, certain people just shouldn't be over certain people. What, 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 what do you mean? Go ahead. Say, say say who you think. Let me see here. Let me see. Now, you gave, let's say, we, we look here. Like he an 84, but Walter, Walter an 88. Justin, if you notice, most people, nobody is lower than a 70 except for you and little, and little LT. And he's barely there. He's almost a 70. This is insulting. I feel like this is a real. This is what we think. Now, here, let me let me break it down for you. I'm going to start from the top of the list, and and I'm going to just break down everybody, okay? I'm going to tell you from our perspective where we came from when we decided who's going to get what ranking and where where they're coming from. Now, obviously, we've already talked about you and Big Chunks. Big Trunks is an unlockable character. He's a 75. Of course, he's naturally better than you. He whoops your ass. You come out, you're unlockable as well. I would be, if I was an unlockable character, are you kidding me? I would be ecstatic. But instead, you choose to feel like you want to be different. That's your prerogative. I'm not worried about that. Your offense, a 63. Bob Classic. A 99. His offense, a 99. Let's stop there. Let's talk about Bob Classic. Phenomenal worker. What has he done this year? He has he has continued to remain over in spite of not being able to do what he does best, and that is maintain his uh, stature of being the best wrestler in all of XTV. Point blank, period. <laughs> I completely understand that about Bob, you know, uh, <clears throat> you know, and, you know, and, and it makes sense. Bob, Bob, Bob did his thing this year. He spent most of the time healing on, on the cage. He's, you know, he, he's out of the cage and he's free to get his ass whooped, you know, and mostly the, the main one who uh, beat him up is Big Trunks, you know. He the main one that <clears throat> have that type of, you know, anger. But anyways, Justin, you're being naughty. He be, he be starting it with me. Where is this coming from? I feel like there's something the matter with you today. All right, uh, uh, about Bob, and you know, you know, I I I think it's no, I think it's no argument, Julia, that you know, be, be, that between Killer and Bob, that uh, you know, they 
they they offense and, and and how over the years, you know, and 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 I feel like they both should be at a hundred. They are, they both are ninety nines. Originally, everyone's everyone's perspective was nobody can be over a ninety nine. But but the fact that old Joe is has been a legend, we decided go ahead and give him a one hundred. Not fair. Not fair. You made Yosey unlockable, and you gave her a 98. How could you argue with that? What's the problem with you with Yosey being a 98 and an, and an unlockable character? She's done it all. She's got several outfits that you can choose. Season 1, Yosey, when she was this many. Season 2, Yosey, she was still this many, but she was a little taller. Season 3, Yosey, she's probably like a 9-year-old, but she thinks that she's this many. I love you, Yosey. Season four, S-I-D-E, Yosey. Season five, a later S-I-D-E, Yosey. Season six, uh, Yosey, when she was wrestling Rob Van Dam in the Shedja Dome. Need I go on? Yep. I mean, I don't, I don't think that nobody is going to argue the point that, you know, Yosey deserves to have a, 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 a high number. She's a 98, you know, no doubt about that. You can even give her a 100. And it's all debatable. You know, it's, it's like, you know, you're entitled to your opinion. We feel like everybody is. And we feel like, you know, it creates a conversation. And it keeps things it keeps things flowing. It's just something to throw out there for everybody to think about. And kind of have some sort of perspective of where you want to go with yourselves. Moving right along. Tavari Howard. We felt like he was a 96. Overall, we felt like his offense was a 95. Why is this? Here's, here's a, a, a couple more comparable people, naturally. You know, you know I, I feel like, because they're a couple, and they're both, you know, huge XTV stars. They're standing right next to one another. So, how's Yosey unlockable, and she a 98, but Howard ain't. He, he, a, he a 96, and his offense a 95. Because, in our opinion, why wouldn't Yosey be over Howard? As far as offense, she goes back further than him. He goes back pretty far, but she goes back further. And it's just logic. She's an unlockable character. So, naturally, she's going to be higher. You're looking at it all wrong, Justin. What are we supposed to do? Make everybody 100? Howard's a 96. That's a good number from for him. That's a very high number. Most people have, like I said, high numbers. They're in the upper 90s. All right, we'll, we'll continue with this. Let's see. Uh, we got Walter up next. He gave Walter 88 overall. Walter ain't in the 90s. Why in the hell? This boy right here been busting his ass all this damn time, for many, many years, he been doing his damn thing, quietly. He ain't been fussing like, I need a title shot, I need this, I need that. He been on movies, he been doing his damn thing, and you don't put him, at least in the 90s. I mean, I can see why, why you know, Howard is like a a, a 96, okay, but if, if Howard is a 96, Walter is an 88. Justin, you're doing it again. What's wrong with that number? You have to think about it. Look at how how much time Tavori Howard has put into this thing. You have to look at this perspective of Howard's been here putting in the numbers for many, many years. Walter, he's newer. He's probably not even done half as much as Tavori Howard. And that's not a knock to him. Yes, he has done plenty in a short amount of time. But... Over the course of this year, because yes, your reputation does precede you many times, as we've said. However, this year, Walter has not really been on the scene that much, but he, he still has that star power. Justin, if this was that year where he was doing Do the Right Thing and doing all those different movies. Jungle Fever. Doing Jungle Fever. Then maybe he will be in the 90s. But Walter has had a bit of a slip back of a year 
in our opinion. You feel you seem to feel very strongly about these opinions. And you feel very strongly about yours. And there's nothing wrong with that. We felt like he was an 88. We felt like his offense was a 94. Popeye arms. He used to dominate in the ring. Why wouldn't he be much better? He's a young guy. All those guys, everybody in man and, you know, the... Uh, Bobby, I was about to say coin Bob. I'm thinking about Yaki. I saw him earlier today. Forgive me. Anyways, all those guys are very young. They're stepping up their game. They're not getting older. They're getting better. They're all getting better. And that's why they all have very high numbers. Okay. Wales. Wales is a 92. We put Wales over, over, uh, over Walt. With his off offense also being a ninety four, so you so you you saying that you know Wells Walter and and Howard as far as offense you see them as all being neck and neck, but you but you know you put Killer as a ninety nine. Killer's been to the big dance. Killer's been the heavyweight champion. Killer's been on top for the longest time. He's been on top. He's been their number one guy. He's been their trophy guy. He's been put. He's been put out. We don't even have to discuss all the different accolades that he has, and all the different time that he's put in. Of course, he's going to be over. He's a ninety nine, Justin. So Howard, Howard ain't done. Howard hasn't had that that heavyweight title reign. Howard was the damn commissioner. Administrative roles don't necessarily get you to 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 being a ninety nine. And again, Justin, we're talking about this year. Look at also the flip side of that. How much has LT? pissed off so many people with his rants, with his going off on people, with his tirades, with his temper tantrums, starting all kinds of things, all because why? Tavari didn't get his way today. You have to consider these certain things because when you're a baby face and you start healing on people, all of a sudden that starts to take a toll on you. And when it does, you start to go downwards. That's a good point. You got to you got to consider these things. All of these things are considered. Remember, we're watching you guys. All right. Interesting points you make here. I'm starting to kind of loosen up about it, you know, the way you the way you kind of break everything down. So let's go to the next person. Who was a last minute punching? We thought about the pain. Because the pain who is unlockable. Hello, people. He's unlockable. And he's a 99. He's a machine. Think about it. He's he could be like Brock Lesnar or something for, for XTV. He comes in every now and again. What is he doing this year? Main eventing. XTV main it your biggest show. You guys' biggest show, Pain is headlining. He's a 99. He's a monster. He's a machine. He destroyed his brother, Big Trunks Dematic. Absolutely demolished him. And now he's making his comeback this year. He's going to be at XTV Mania. And he's going to be main eventing. Unlockable character versus somebody who was a 99 overall and also a 99. Perfect headline. Pain versus the killer. You've got to love it. Justin, how can you argue with that? I, I can't. Not, not when you say it that way. I mean, I, you know, I ain't, ain't got no problem with that. <clears throat> Another member of man we got here, Jazzmar. You gave Jazz an 89, Julia. Jazz ain't a 90. This year... Jazz come up quite a bit. Think of it like this. Look at who's under Jasmar. Mac Anthony. Mac Anthony, a 70. Am I right? Do you see this? Think about Jasmar and where he was prior to him doing a podcast. You have to think about this, Justin. The podcasting, you started it just several months ago. About seven, we were just on the East Coast page. You guys started it seven months ago. 
And now here you are. Jasma has a podcast. 90% has a podcast. Brian has a podcast. Romy Rome has a TV show. That came from you doing your podcast. So, my point is, my point is that prior to Jasma doing his podcast, he didn't have as much of, of a fan following he was still kind of the shadow of man in the shadows, which is the role that he still plays. But now he's a, he stands out alone on his own. And now he has Mac Anthony under him who he can bring up under and, and elevate. You understand what I'm saying? To his level where he is now. So thus far... This is only right now. Thus far, considering where he's come from, yes, Jasmine is an 89 with a 90 offense. Why the, why the 90 offense? You know why? Why 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 he got a 90, but Walt get a 74? I mean a 94. Explain that, Julia. You got all the answers. You gave Wells and and, and Walt a 94 as an offense. Why Jazz don't get no 94 as an offense? It's the number that we came up with, considering that Jazz Moore is still one of the fairly new characters. And when, when you look at the perspective, how is it fair, Justin, for Wells and Walter, who came in fairly around the same time, okay, around the same, around the same time, and Jazz Moore who came considerably later. Uh, is he as good as them? Yes, he is. But considerably, when you consider all their accolades, Jasmine reached very new, very new heights very fast. But these guys were already there. So he's still, you know... You know, still playing catch up to these guys. Do you understand what I'm saying? So he just that 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 ain't got nothing to do with with you talking about two different things. I'm talking about <clears throat> why he got an offensive ninety, but 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 they don't. Justin, you're missing the point. Listen to me. Jazz Moore has not been in XTV as long as them. I get that, Julia. All I'm saying is, he came in destroying bitches. They all did. They all did. But he's been doing it for a shorter time. And so when you compare the numbers, of course it makes sense. You can even go with Howard, for instance. You would say, why, why doesn't Howard have a higher number than the 95? Because Howard, remember... His last, his last great match was with the '80s guy, where he was starting, starting to be get, be, become better. And hey, a 95 is not a bad number. It's a very high number. It's only five off from a hundred. Hello, remember that. So you know when you're talking about Jasmine being a 90, it's ten, it's ten off. He's damn near a hundred. Mac Anthony. A brand new kid, new kid on the block. Of course he's a 70. He doesn't have a voice. All he's known for is sleeping. He starts off at the default number of a 70. See, let's stop right there. Mac Anthony starts off with the default number of 70, both offensively and in popularity. However, I start off as a 63. You didn't start that way. You actually started in the 30s because you were never good good as a as a um competitor. You know this stuff, Ernie. So for you to be a 63 is quite the accomplishment for you. That's just a that's just a a, a kick in the balls. I don't see how I could possibly feel good about being a 63. Mac Anthony, the new rookie, you know, shout out to Mac Anthony. He starts off at 63. That mean, I mean, he starts off at 70. That mean that if I was the rookie and started off at 70, I declined. Justin, you started off as a 30. 
Get it through your head. Let's move on. Millennium. Hang on, let me see. We gotta we gotta take another break. All right. This is fun here talking with you, Justin. I, I, I'm i just messing with you. I want you to know, don't take how I talk to you personal. It's just how I like to talk to people to sort of lighten the mood. It's, it's, it's all good. It's all good. We'll be right back with more Julia, ladies and gentlemen, and more of this uh, ridiculous list. Can you believe this? Stay with us. <clears throat> it's not a rib. Man, this is a long lunch line. I sure can't wait to eat my breakfast this morning. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, you punched me on my butt. Yeah. Stop, Cardell. Hey, bro, why you waiting in line? Eat this nickel, bro. Why? Because you'll be at the extra one. Better? Better. You're not yourself when you're hungry. Why wait? Have a Snickers. Back here with Julia McKenzie, ladies and gentlemen. And we going over. Why do you have to say my name like that, Justin? Did I upset you? You're not upsetting me, Julia. I'm, I'm just fine. It just takes a while for this to process. Such a, a low number. A 63. The only 60 on the roster. Closer to, to the 50s. You came up, Justin. All right, let me read. Millennium. A fine boy. He's an 88. His offense is a 90. We took a look at Millennium, who was just like you, and, you know, just like so many other guys, Tavori Howard, on the downward spiral. Uh, we didn't even get in. We're not even getting into the arrows, whether these guys are going up or, or coming down. Justin, you're coming up. You have to understand that. You're an unlockable character who's coming up in stature. So 2017, it could be your blowout year. And, and you know, you have a whole lot to gain. This match that you're about to have against Neo can make or break your offensive uh, 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 number. Let's talk about Millennium because, you know, I like Millennium. We ain't going to talk about me no more. It, it ain't all about me. Uh, but 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 Millennium, you know, uh, you know, he 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 is, uh, you know, uh, you know, he's just always been a guy who impressed me, you know, um, when he got in the ring and you know when he first started out, um, you know, it's he he was one of those you know guys who was like, okay, he from he from S I D E, but you know he is you know trying to create a whole new gimmick, a whole new thing, completely like unlike anything he did back over there and and be and be good and be able to compete and you know I guess he just had good ass timing cuz he came during that era of the athletes but you know now that he got this uh this podcast where he he's just trying to be Jericho um <laughs> you know uh you know he's he's got a shot at at, at being more over so you know I, I think that 88 is a good number for Mill cuz you know he's still you know he's still there and you know considerably you know these other numbers let's see you gave Jazz an 89 why Jazz an 89 and 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 Mill an 88 well because Jazz more you know he just um you know, we, we've seen more of him, you know, and, 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 and they're, you know, kind of in the same category. You even look at the offense of Millennium, who, you know, you know, he's great in the ring as well. You know, he has that SIDE background. Of course, he's going to be in the 90s, a fine number for fine gentlemen, the both of them. And, um, you know. You know, Jazz Moore, you know, he's, he's just got a few more episodes, uh, you know, or quite a bit more episodes of his podcast. But they're doing the same thing. And, you know, the podcast game is a very minuscule. Also, you know, it's, it's a small part of, of, you know, the thought process. But it's also, um, you know, very influential in, in the decision making. Because, you know, let's face it, you know, not everybody has a podcast. But the podcasts give people a voice and therefore you know um that helps them you know um get more recognition and notoriety again all right uh yeah and you know we got old joe here i like old joe no shade 
I'm just saying, you know, I, I love old Joe. In fact, you know, he got a podcast, speaking of podcasts, and, you know, uh, you know, it, it's one of my favorite podcasts, you know, and even though he only got like a couple episodes, the vibe that he has, you know, it, it's, it's good. It's like, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a good air about him. He's, he's a wonderful human being, and, you know, uh, how could how could you, you know, not love Grandpa Joe? You know, how could you not relate to such a thing? You know, uh, he's just a sweet, sweet man. And we feel like him and Mary Mae are absolutely a charm. She's on the list. You know, um, you know, she she's un, unlisted as as a, as an offense, but she um, she she's over. She's a 90, you know. Um, so she, so you can you can play you can play as Mary May. She's unlockable. You just made that up. I did just make it up. Oh, yeah, because they ain't on my list. We didn't consider her. OK, you busted me. You a lying ass motherfucker, Julia. <laughs> you a naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> Okay, let's move on to people who are actually on the list. Bill Hunter, a 90. Bill Hunter has gotten himself over major. He He's probably the least likely person to actually be considered in the XTV Top 10, but he is. But you know, we haven't gotten that far yet, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. Bill Hunter... Is a is a ninety his offense a ni- a ninety three? We feel like since he hasn't been in the ring, you know he would up he would be up in the in the higher nineties. But since he hasn't been in the ring and he's been more of a slugger than a drunk, who hasn't really been um hasn't really been very uh, offensive. And 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 his 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 role is great. He's playing his role absolutely perfect. We love you, Bill. His his bit that he did with you on um on this podcast, huge, over huge, huge ratings with the both of you guys on that one. Yeah, yeah, that that, that was definitely one of my biggest shows. He's absolutely, you know, phenomenal, and um, you know, we're we're happy to have him. Here's a real number, Renee Young. Renee Young is an eighty five. Brand new rookie out of the gate. Well, she brand new and she get an 85. Mac Anthony had got a got a 75. Renee Young gets an 85 because immediately out of the gate, what did she do? She popped everybody. And 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 she continued to pop and, and, and she and her act never gets old. You know, so she's a little bit different. She's on that up. She has that green arrow and it's pointing upwards. And we think that the that 85 is a fair number for, for Renee Young. She doesn't have any offense. She's unranked because she doesn't get in the ring. What about a uh, monster kid? Baby! A 77. He's a great kid as well. He's got so much potential. Um, you know, another guy who, you know, popped everybody big. And, you know, we wanted to put him in the 80s. But what happened was... When Renee came, she just blew all the new, all the newer kids out of the water. Even Trunks' daughter, who we wanted to have as um, you know, we wanted to you know, rank her, but she's she's unranked. That the fuck ain't fair. How you ain't gonna rank that little girl? She fell off. She ain't fall off. Don't listen to that baby girl. Don't listen to that. Close your ears. Get yourself together, that, that's, that's, that's very unfair. How y'all how y'all treating a that young how y'all kids, treating that young lady? A lot of the younger talent didn't get ranked this year. Lil LT and Lil Killer, they're a little bit different because they um they they've been around a little bit longer. Those younger kids, they're not ranked. Lily, we're sorry. Lily, I can understand, but you know, the 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 nameless daughter, you know that just ain't fair. Y'all treating her very unfairly. It's just the way it is. You know, I think you're making a whole lot of this up, Julia. I feel like you're putting a whole lot of it out your ass. Watch it, buddy. Okay, Bill Hunter. Yeah, we did Bill Hunter. Um, Yaki Nigeru, a 93. His arrow pointing downwards. What the hell is going on with Yaki? No one knows. He 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 had a uh, he, he had a podcast where he was just rambling on and rambling. Yucky always rambled. The reason that podcast started, I'll have you know, 
Okay, and all y'all motherfuckers up there at the board of directors, I don't give a damn. Let me tell y'all something. The reason that podcast even started is because of Yaki O aimless uh, rambling. So let him say whatever the hell he want to say. He's a free spirit. Justin, calm down about it. You don't have to get hot. All we're saying is, Yorkie, with, with as big as a personality that he has, he has a whole lot to live up to. Luckily for him, he's been able to maintain his status as a 93. How? Personally, I don't know. But at the end of the day, I guess he's doing a whole lot of training and eating his vitamins and saying his prayers. But at the end of the day, Yorkie, he's a 93. I, I I don't I don't understand this. Let me let me let me go back here. So who over Yaki thus far? Cause Yaki he one of my favorites and and he one of the biggest motherfuckers. So you you got Tavari Howard over him. Yeah okay yeah yeah. And Yosey, kind of I guess that kind of makes sense. All right, you got Lil Killer next. You ranked his little badass. And eighty four, he's on his way up. Arrow pointing upwards. I can't believe, you know, I, I got a feeling like, I got a feeling that you got a personal vendetta over Yaki. There's nothing personal, Justin. This is, like we said, we've, we've mandated and delegated for hours and hours every single day, busting our ass, trying to figure out exactly who deserves what. And, you know, this is, these are the numbers that we came up with. Yeah, okay. Who you said? Yeah, look, killer. He a eighty four. His little bad ass. Why he a eighty four? Well, you know, it's it's uh, you know, he's he's uh, he's exactly where he's supposed to be. When you think about the whole thing, he's killer all over again. When little killer and little LT, or when killer and LT used to be around back in the days, that's what they did. They walked around. They popped in here and out. They, 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 they terrorized people, they harassed people, they did, you know, terrible things, and, you know, that's what these kids are going to do. That's what they're doing now. They pop in, in and out every now and again, and then they're off, and they're gone, and they're not heard from again, and then they pop out, and they make everybody laugh, and then they're gone, and they're not heard from again. So with the little killer, he's an 84, funny kid. He was also in the movie, which you did a podcast on recently. He got a few points there. He's over. An 84. Offense. An 80. He doesn't fight that much. But we think that, you know, uh, compared to a rookie, he might be able to kick the rookie's ass a little bit. So, 10 points for you, kid. And then, um, RJ. An 84. He's, He's a good kid. He's doing his thing as well. He's, um... He's somebody who, you know, people say, you, anytime the West Coast goes, this guy's over. Or when they say, we've, we've been thinking about this guy, that means that that guy's doing his job. I've heard it from RJ, I've heard it from Lucky, I've heard it about you, I've heard it about Martha, I've heard it about Yaki, Yosi, Tavori, the list goes on and on. And RJ's one of those kids. He's an 84. He's going upwards. He has to find out exactly what he's going to do because now he doesn't, uh, he's not attached to Romy and he's he's not with uh, Trap City. He's not with Bill Hunter. RJ, you're going to have to do something if you want to be a star. Offense, an 86. Can you imagine this little fat guy biting on your ear? I, I, I imagine that would hurt. He's an 86. That has power with those chompers. All right, little LT, he's an 80. His offense, a 69. Little LT, his, uh, his, his ability in the ring or, or his overall presence, yeah, probably not as over as, uh, as, as Lil Killer. That's why we made him an 80. And the, the, the other kid an 84, he hasn't been in the movie. He hasn't really been doing that much. Funny kid, yeah, his offense... A sixty nine, not very impressive. You know, uh, you know, sixty nine. It it is considerably low. It's the it's the lowest number. You know, uh, well, what the second lowest number thus far. <clears throat> I I gotta take a break because this motherfucker calling me. I don't, I don't know who this is, ladies and gentlemen. How how 
call you on the phone with me, but you, but your phone's ringing. I got several phones. So we'll be back. What's up, bros? Brian Bellman here, and you won't believe the ridiculousness this week on Brian Bellman's new Millennium Podcast. Almost kind of it there. But anyways, though, bros, this week I'm going to have special guests Jimbo, Lucky, Isabella, and Riri all here. We're going to be talking about XTV, Bars of Mania, in addition to all the other battles that took place here in XTV. You're going to hear all our thoughts, all our comparisons, and everything that we think about all the different battles that have taken place throughout the years here on XTV. I think it's a great talk. I think it's great fun and a whole lot of uh, craziness going on between everybody. A little bit of discombobulation, but it's just a whole lot of great stuff to laugh at. I think you're going to have fun. I had so much fun, and it's going to be this week on the new Millennium Podcast. The new Millennium Podcast with Brian Moon. Justin's podcast. Okay, okay, so we're wrapping it up here. We're wrapping it up. No, I ain't, I ain't wrapping you up. I'm, I'm just uh. No, no, we're getting to the bottom of the list. So, okay, RJ, eighty four, offense eighty six, Lil LT eighty sixty nine. That eighties guy, he's a ninety nine. He's over. I mean, you know, although he he's like you know in and out. He's the type of character that every time he comes back, he does exactly what he says he does. He steals the show. He may be the single greatest in-ring performer in all of XTV. And so offensively, we gave the 80s guy a uh, lost to there he is. We gave him a 94. Hasn't been in the ring since, you know, the last time. So we give him a 94. Wait a minute. <clears throat> Gave him a 94, but you gave Howard a 95. He beat Howard. How that happened? Because Howard's more active. It makes more sense. Just by one point. Only by one point. I know your voice hurt. You sounded like Armando. Armando. Shut up, Justin. You're a hoot. All right, moving along. Alec Trofa. Unlockable character. He's a legend. He's, he's, he's done it all. Hall of Fame ranks the works. Comes into the ring, he's a 91. He's older. He's got grays. If you unlocked Alex Rofa, he would just be just a, just an older version, and, you know, you probably wouldn't want to play with him because he's not as good as he used to be. Slower stone coat stunner, slower movements. Let's move on. Good to see you. Nice entrance. Uh, Sally Trofa. She's also unlockable. Great, uh, compelling story that she told the other uh, on the Millennium podcast. You know, I, I, I was very, very engaged, and I, I thought that she was just wonderful and del- and delightful. We gave her a, a seventy-seven. You know, she hasn't been in the ring in forever, uh, but you know, we feel like. You know, she was the women's champion. She's in good shape. She would be somewhat formidable up against an opponent, so we gave her a 77. Uh, Foxy Hart, you know, she's been, you know, uh, here in, in and out of XTV. She would have been in the higher 90s, but she hasn't been here that much, so she's been bumped down to the 89. Foxy Hart, arrow pointing down. Um... Offensively, we feel like she would be in the 90s. She's a 91. Still, again, pointing downwards. She hasn't proven that she's going to be able to be a formidable opponent. And if you ask me, in my opinion, you know, the last, the last time we were saying Fo- Foxy Hot uh, in, in competition, she was kind of a little lackluster she hasn't come up with something new to be able to entertain these people on a high pace fast pace level yeah. no, you. are you still with me justin no i'm still here i'm still here i'm just listening to your opinions and you know i'm i'm i'm, I'm soaking it in and thinking about it and you know it makes sense when you're saying it but <clears throat> you know uh 
I just feel like some of these people m- might not be that happy with their ranking. That's all I think. They may or may not be. It may rub some people the wrong way. And and I promise you, that is not what we were trying to do when doing this. We were trying to be absolutely as fair as possible. So let's move on. We got a few more names. J.J. Strong. He's an 87 overall. You know, J.J. Strong hasn't been on the microphone. He hasn't been doing that. Gets killed. He's got the relationship with Ada. They're great. They're wonderful. But, you know, Arrow pointing downwards, J.J. I think you just pointing down all the East Coast people. It has nothing to do with that, Justin. Yeah, Arrow's pointing upwards. You have no reason to be upset. His offense, a 78. Let's face it, J.J. Strong, Sugar Man was okay, but, uh, you know, you wasn't really cutting it. So you were in the 70s in comparison to all these top-ranked, higher-rated XTV stars. I mean, come on, we got to argue. Ada, she's beautiful. She's a 98 overall. She's over. Um, Offensively, a 97. Why not? She kicks ass. She takes names. Multiple-time women's champion. Hello, do we have to count them? Uh, count them all. And then finally, the monster. He's a 95. His offensive is a 95. A giant monster. And he's adorable. Come on. I mean, you gotta love him. And that's why... Justin, are you with me? That's why... I'm going to quickly read over the XTV Westside Top 5. Starting with number 5, the beloved old Joe. Grandpa Joe at number 5. Who monster? Speaking of him, he's number 4. Number 3, the killer. Number 2, DT. Surprise. And number 1, everyone knows who number 1 is. We all sat around the table and we said... Who's number one? Everyone knows who number one is. You can't try to act like you don't know number one is Big Trunk Steve Maddock. Okay, so that's our that's our XTV top four. And then for the East Coast, oh yeah, we we couldn't can't forget about the East Coast. Night uh, n- number five, rank number five, Yaki Night Ju. Rank number two, two rings, Romy Rome. Number three, Miss Martha. I was surprised about that. But her name got thrown around a whole lot in the hat. Uh, number two, Yozy. Who's number one? Would you believe it? It's Yo, Justin. Look at this. Bob Classic is not on the list. He's not on the top five list. I don't see how the hell he, he, Bob, why he wouldn't be over Yaki. That's what they decided. That's fluke. That top five list right there is fluke as hell. And, nah. I'm against all that damn last minute shit that your ass just put. It wasn't last minute. We were doing this for weeks. We had a a, a few last little things, a a few last little kinks to get in in there before I got on the phone with you. Uh, It it had something to do with Mac Anthony, but um, but yeah, this is this is what we decided. You put Yaki in the top five, but Bob Classic, the and I, I don't even like Bob. Okay, let's 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 get that straight. But Bobby ain't in the top five. Yes, the hell he is. I mean, I know I'm, uh, you know, thank you for putting me as number one. And, you know, yeah, I deserve it. Hell, I mean, oh, but I'm just saying that, <clears throat> and I'm just joking, you know, I'm, I'm humbled. Yeah, right, Justin. Soak it in. Drink it in, man. I don't see how you got, you ain't got Bob in, in, in the XTV top five. You know, I just, I just don't get it. You gave him a 99. You damn near put him as a damn unlockable character. No one said Bobby was a was an unlockable character. And, you know, to be honest, I don't know why Yucky's number five. I think Bobby was supposed to be as number five. That's what your ass get for not being prepared, Julia. Why are you yelling at me? Why are you, why are you angry? I'm mad about my number. I'm pissed about my number. But I'm sure that this will create some discussion. Y'all need to change that five at least to, to Bob. I think that the XTV top five would be all those people that you mentioned. You know, maybe with a little bit of rearranging or two rings in that. I love you, Romy, but, you know, still. 
Bob, Bob got to be up in, uh, I, I think he would be at a high number. And if you want to see the XTV top 10, just refer to Justin. There are more names on the list. We're just going over the top five here for the sake of time. Yep. <laughs> Well, speaking of time, you know, that's all the time that I got with you, uh, 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 Julia, Julia McKenzie. I'm sorry. But, you know, it, it's, it's been great catching up with you. Uh, always outspoken. Always, uh, a delight to hear from. And, uh, I look forward to hearing from you, you know, again. Terry Williams, we begged and begged and begged poor Terry to put himself on the list. He's like, I don't want to be on the list. I said, put yourself on the list. I don't want to be on the list. Put yourself on the list. You're over, Terry. They love you. But he didn't want to put himself on the list. If you put Terry on the list, uh, what do you think, uh, he would get. I would give Terry Williams a seventy-eight overall. He, they like him. He ain't no damn seventy-eight. He like a damn eighty, eighty something. See, you, you probably the reason that a whole lot of these people has got a real low ranking. I bet it's a whole majority of them people that was just like, yeah, man, put Bob on the list, do this, do that, and you was just anti everything. I have no idea why you feel that way, Justin. But the next time I see you, I'll make sure I give you a receipt. Goodbye, everybody. Certainly want to thank Julia for taking her time out and talking with me here on Justin's podcast. Yeah, uh, interesting list. I'm uh, I'm interested in hearing about what the, what you guys think about the West Side. Hey man, I had y'all back, cause you know they ain't finna just sit there and 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 and, and, and josh us around. You feel me? No, it ain't going down like that. That's right. I got your back. That's right, because y'all all my friend, and I love you all. That's right. That's right, Trunks. And, 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 and don't, hey, Trunks, this one for you. Don't come up to me starting with me, man. All right? Don't be feeling no kind of way. Leave it be. What what, what uh, old Joe say? I like when he say, uh, have a, be on your merry way on your way today. And stop and smell the roses. That is not what he said. Mother, <clears throat> it's not. He says, stop and smell the roses on your way today. That's what he says. I was I was in, in the uh, ballpark. You are just so full of it. How does it feel for you to be in the top three? It feels wonderful. I'm, I, you know, I'm. I just feel uh, blessed and honored that people think as highly of me as they do. I really do. I really do. I I I truly do. Okay, you, I get it. In the re, ladies and gentlemen, uh, tune in next week. You you are too much. Yeah. Tune in next week. Well, I'll be having my very special guest who, once again, I will not disclose because every time, ladies and gentlemen, every time I say I'm going to have this guest, I'll never get that person. I'll be supposed to, but I don't. It took me forever to get with Chris Major. <clears throat> I want to uh, tell everybody Merry Christmas, Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah. Allah ham. I'm going to take my ass a little nap. I feel kind of funny. Like when I used to climb the rope in gym class. It's Friday night, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to get me a nap before I got to dip out again. So, uh, from the sunshine state of Florida, this is Ernest Justin Turkey Leg coming to you once again, saying so long. Until next time.